Hello everyone! If you enjoy this video, please leave a like and comment what type of content you would like to see next time. Also, only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed, so if you end up liking the video, consider subscribing. Check out the Patreon in the video description for some extra steamy content. Enjoy the video! A few minutes later, Susan came back out with two glasses of soda. Thanking her, I took a sip. I looked at the glass, and there was a bright red lipstick mark that I made. Susan paid no attention to hers, and we just kept on talking. Susan glanced at her watch. We have to go inside, John. My mom will be here in a little while. We got up and headed to her room. When we got there, I needed to use the bathroom. Give me a second, I have to pee. I went to her bathroom, closed the door, and stood in front of the toilet. I lifted the seat like at home. Then lifted the front of the dress, pulled down the pantyhose and panties just enough. Holding the front side of the dress up with one hand and my penis in other, I had to be very careful not to get any on the dress. I shook off the last few drops, dabbed myself with some toilet paper to be sure there was nothing left. I pulled up the panties and pantyhose. I flushed, washed my hands and stepped out into Susan's bedroom where Susan was waiting for me. Susan saw that the toilet seat was up and gave me a stern look. You're just be sitting down, not standing up, John. So when you're dressed like a girl, you have to feel like a girl. Okay, did you say, when dressed like a girl, be like a girl? Does that mean what I think it does? Okay, I'll remember, I said. Susan took me over to her dresser and gave me a quick tour of what she had in the drawers and then did the same with the closet. Looking at me, she said, when you come over after school, you can wear anything you want. Anything. A part of me woke up and started to jump for joy. Another part was confused. I simply looked back at her. Okay, this sounds like fun. See, I know you would enjoy dressing like a girl. You can be sisters when you do. Now, quickly get changed. I have a few things I need to do. Susan and I left the bedroom, closing the door behind her. Alone now? I stood in the middle of her room, looking at myself in the mirror. Something inside of me was telling me that this is right and meant for me to do. At the same time, I was worried. What if it was discovered that I liked wearing these clothes? I didn't have time to lament out these thoughts, so quickly I got back into my regular clothes, washed the lipstick off, put the dress in the closet, and under things into the hamper. Making one last check to see that everything was as it should be, I left the room. I went into the dining room, and there was Susan sitting at a table, waving me to come over. She emptied both of our book bags, so it looked like as if we were studying. She even had two glasses of soda there as well. I sat down at the table, where she put my books and studied a glass of soda. Was it the one from before with lipstick on it? I looked closely and didn't see any. Looking up at Susan, she simply smiled. Then we heard the garage door open. Susan turned to me. Get studying. I picked up my English book and began to read. Susan's mother came in and saw us. Hi, honey. Hi, Johnny. I see the two of you are being very studious today. We both responded back to her as she went into the kitchen. I better get started at supper before your father gets home. Are you joining us for dinner, Jenny? I wish I could, but my mom is expecting me, Mrs. Ralston. I better get going. With that, Susan helped me back up and saw me to the door. She leaned over to me and whispered, See you tomorrow, sis. I smiled back at her. We did our normal goodbyes and I went home. The next day, in school, Susan came up to me. Didn't you have an yesterday? Strangely, I did, Susan. It was really enjoyable. I want to do it again. Smiling, Susan went on. I'm glad. Today you can try on a few of my skirts. There is one I think will look really good on you. The rest of his school day was normal. After school, Susan and I walked home together and we spent the rest of the afternoon trying on skirts. Just about every day after school that became our routine. Going to Susan's and rising like a girl. She worked with me on putting my makeup, walking, and sitting like a girl even picking things up off the floor. It was very enjoyable and refreshing to know that there was a unique part of me that wanted to come out, and it certainly did. About two months later, we were sitting in the front room watching TV with me being dressed as Joanne. 
This time, I was also wearing a hair wig that Susan had found in her garage. It was one of her mother's very old hair wig. She had cleaned it and brushed it very well. When I put the wig on, she was really surprised to see how different of a person I looked in it. She said I really did look like a pretty girl then. When I saw myself in a mirror, I was shocked as her, seeing a nice girl in front of me. Then we got back to our usual things and we were tired. We had something to eat and then were watching TV. All of a sudden, Susan's father walked in on us as he came home early. He became cautious when he laid eyes on me. He was a big man, an ex drill sergeant in the Marines who saw combat. Well, who is this beautiful lady, Susan? He asked as he removed his coat. Susan and I were both shocked and scared at the same time. If he found out that it was me dressed in Susan's clothes, he would get very angry. My heart was beating very fast, and I was sure Susan was feeling terrified too. With some courage, Susan spoke up. Daddy, she is... She is... My new friend Joan from school. She is new here, and I invited her over. Oh, I see. Well, you two have fun. I have a lot of work to do. Susan's father then pointed to me and said, Feel yourself at home, dear. And then he went upstairs. Susan and I both got a bit relieved after that. It was a very close encounter. I was still very nervous and just wanted to run away. But I was also a little proud somehow that Susan's father didn't recognize me at all. I thought I was a real girl. I was still dressed like a girl, and in some ways, I could see myself getting excited about it. Susan then took my hand, and we both went into her room. Closing the door behind us, we could hear Susan's father talking over the phone. Susan was looking very worried, and so was I. We could lose our friendship if we were discovered doing something like this. What should we do, Susan? I asked. I am thinking. It was such a close call. I thought we were busted. She replied nervously. Maybe I should just change fast and leave, I said. No, not till that is around. You can change. If he sees you, we could get into a lot of trouble, she replied, still a little nervous. You will have to keep pretending you're a girl. Then we heard footsteps coming closer to the door. We panicked. It was our father again. Hey girls, I have to go to my client's house right now. There has been an emergency. It might take me an hour before I get home. You girls behave and it's something, okay? Susan's father said. We both nodded and in about five minutes, he was gone. As soon as Susan's father left, I undressed as fast as I could. Susan helped me get the makeup off of me. Then I got back into my boy clothes. I felt relaxed now getting back to my normal clothes. I could see Susan was calmer too. I kissed her cheek and they laughed. I ran as fast as I could from there to my home. But little did I know that the experience would change me so much later. I was a girl in disguise, and even thought it was really scary. I liked it. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this story. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.